It's your boy Alpha Mal 926, aka Mal Sauce 926. It's a few things I want you to do, but y'all already know what that is. Don't even worry about that right now. You need to jump into this video. Resident Evil Village continues the story of our boy Ethan Winters and his journey to save his daughter Rose. Boy, boy, boy. You want to talk about stress. This game put me in a level of stress that I have not felt playing a horror game in quite some time. But it was a hell of a journey, I tell you that. So if you seen my last video that I uploaded, which was my Resident Evil rankings, if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. But things are going to shift a little bit. Nothing too much. But Resident Evil Village... It's my new favorite Resident Evil game that is now at the top of my list. It made me appreciate Biohazard more too, but I will still say this. It's a way better game than Biohazard. All the things that I had a problem with in Biohazard being mostly the character of Ethan completely dissolved in this game. He feels more fleshed out. You get more of his motivation as a character. And in hindsight, if he was like this and Biohazard, Biohazard would have been my number one immediately. But they do fix a lot of those problems in this game. And I really, really, really enjoy the character of Ethan Winters in this game. And speaking of Resident Evil Biohazard, to not get into too much of a spoiler. Because I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. Maybe you're just stopping by looking at this review before you play the game or even seeing what happens. So, I'm going to warn you when I'm getting into sort of a spoiler territory. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But, the revelation of a certain part of Biohazard that they call back to in this game shook my nerve to the core. I could not believe that bit of information I got. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know, please for the love of God, please go find out. Cause my God, I could not believe it. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> if you won't, go look it up. That's the part I'm talking about and you'll find out why later. But anyway, overall, great game great story i look forward to the future whatever the next game is going to be but let's talk about the bosses a little bit let's jump into that now even though there's a few sub bosses is what i'm going to call them in this journey we're going to focus right now specifically on the five main bosses that you fight in this game which would be the four lords and the big bad whom is Mother Miranda. Those four bosses, if you know, you know. If you're not, I'm gonna let you know right now. Number one, Lady Dimitrescu. Everyone knows her, and they seem to be kinda obsessed with her. But, do I blame them? Nah, not really. After Lady Dimitrescu, I believe you had the doll, if I'm not mistaken, AKA, what is her name? Donna, I believe. Donna Benevento, if I'm not mistaken. Then after that was Monroe. Then Heisenberg. And then Mother Miranda. Each boss fight brings its own flavor to the game. But overall, I like all the boss fights. Um, I think my favorite boss fight, I'm gonna have to say is probably Heisenberg then Lady Demotresk both of those were really fun um, now if we want to go with mine crushing that damn doll section and not specifically the doll itself but the section right before that was one of the most unsettling disturbing situations I've ever been in in a video game Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
bro. No, bro. Do you see that shit? Mm mm. Mm mm. Don't get me wrong. This game stresses me out, which a good horror game should stress you out. But that, that was very unsettling, unnerving. That that was the most disturbing situation I've ever been in in a video game, even in a Resident Evil video game. I'm all for zombies, lichens, fucking the Mr. X's of the world, tyrants, all that. That's that's cool. I can all right, fine. That's cool. But a fucking mutilated, mutated looking baby, bro. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. can't do it that was just no I can't think about it right now my stress level is going up but like I said Lady Demetrius and Heisenberg are probably my two of the favorite ones in here but I don't have no beef with any of the other ones neither though they're all fun to me I like them all personally I will say that all the bosses in this one are better than the ones in Biohazard one of the boss battles do kind of reminds me a little bit of some of the other ones like uh, Monroe for example kind of sort of puts me in the mind of Marguerite even though he's not a bug but it's still kind of the, the feel of it kind of gave me a little bit of Marguerite vibes but Heisenberg is definitely the show stealer here to me I feel like I didn't really think when they showed the trailers for Resident Evil Village and the hype leading up to it, they made it seem like Lady Demetrius was really the main person. But she ends up being the first boss. And it's like, after I got done with her section of the game, I was like, man, I miss Lady Demetrius now. Especially when I got to that fucking baby. I was like, put me back in the fucking castle. I, I can't take this anymore. But, man. I don't know. I'm not sure why they went the way they did with the marketing, kind of making it seem like she was the main one, but that doesn't change my opinion of the game at all. It's still a great game. Overall, everything about the game, to me, is positive. There's only one thing that's a negative in this game that now looking back on it, originally when I played it, I really didn't feel too objective about it but now as I'm going through my second playthrough trying to beat it on the Village of Shadow difficulty which has been a fucking challenge to say the least especially during that first fight goodness but anyway towards the end of the game when you're looking at these cutscenes that you can see Ethan but they're making it too obvious that they're not trying to show his face that's weird. That is weird. Originally, I had found out about that part before I got there. And I was like, you know, it might not be too distracting. We'll see. It's completely distracting. At first, I didn't mind because I was kind of deep into the story and what was going on in that scene. But now as I sat back and looked at it again, it's so weird. It's so, so weird. And I have no idea why they decided to do that. Just show the man's face. We know what he looks like. The whole world knows what he looks like. Why are we going through this right now? But I guess that's supposed to be their way of making you the character. I guess I don't. I don't really know what they were going for there. But I feel like they should have showed his face just to give us that satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I enjoy the weapon selection a lot more in this game than I did the uh, Biohazard. Um, all the characters are great. Really enjoy. The Chris saga ness of it, I guess. Um, hopefully, in the next game, we get to be maybe Chris for the majority of the game. Maybe. Unless they come out with some DLC and make it a part of this game. I don't know. I'm not really sure where they're heading with that. But I would definitely like to get more into the Chris side of things. Um, but man, I, I had a blast with the game. I really did. I really, really did. I streamed the whole thing. And like I say, now I'm on my second playthrough, and it's just been, this is game of the year for me. 
this was the reason why I wanted a PS5. When this game was announced, I was like, yeah, if I don't have a next gen console before this comes out, I'm not going to play it until I do. And I'm so glad that I was able to get this day one, play it through, and just have a blast with it. If you have not played this game, you're you're missing out. You're missing out. The hype is real. If you think people are telling you, oh, it's a great game and you're going to be disappointed, it's, it's not. This is beautiful. Visually, it's beautiful. Playing it is beautiful. It's just an amazing experience. And I hope that everyone that's watching this video has either experienced it with someone or experienced it yourself. You really need to experience it yourself, though. But if you watched it like through a stream or maybe even my stream, if you're stopping by from over there, what's going on, by the way? Great time. Great, great time. And I don't want to put it down. I really don't. And after I beat it on the Village of Shadows and I try to get more into it. Also, I did the Mercenary Mode, too. That was pretty fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's the next big game that I'm really looking forward to that I know is coming out soon, but it has a tough, tough act to follow with this because, like I said, this is definitely my game of the year so far, and this is my favorite game I've played on the PS5. It's smooth, pretty much no loading screens. The save is fast. It's, it's amazing, man. It runs so beautifully on the PS5. God, I love this game. I really, truly love this game. I'm really glad I played through all the other Resident Evil games before playing this one because a lot of callbacks and notes throughout the game was even better. Having all of the other games on my mind at the same time. Like, for instance, we get the reason why the Umbrella logo is what it is. And also we find out that Oswald E. Spencer stayed in the village for a short time. So that was a great callback. And there's also one part where Heisenberg calls Chris a boulder punching asshole. That was hilarious. Really, really fucking hilarious. That was a great line. I'm glad they put that in there. And with everything that goes on in this game and the experience that I had with it and me wanting to replay it immediately after beating it this is why it's number one on my list even Resident Evil 2 which was previously my number one after I played it the first time I kind of wanted to take a break afterwards and play other things but with Village I didn't feel that at all like once I beat it I instantly restarted it and I was just like, go through it again. And I'm currently doing that now. And I'm still having a blast with it. Even though I know what's going to happen, how it's going to happen and all that. Still having a blast with this game. And this game is absolutely amazing. So do yourself a favor. Check it out. PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever. Do yourself that favor. Enjoy this game. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. Resident Evil Village <sighs> Game of the Year I'm, I'm going to say it now I don't know what's going to come out That can top this for me personally Maybe at the end of the year Maybe there will be something But I don't know man It has a tough act to follow Nothing but praises for this game Nothing but praises So with all my positives And my one tad little negative if I had to give this a ranking from 1 to 10 9.5 out of 10 the only thing that breaks it off a little bit from being a perfect game is the whole little Ethan's face thing that, that, that really it's distracting man it's super distracting I, I don't know why they did that but everything else in this game to me perfect perfect you really you really want me to be quite honest with you the way i feel about this game it's a 10 out of 10 i'm only saying 9 9.5 out of 10 for that little portion and honestly without that part it's still it's a perfect game to me 
perfect. So take that and do with it what you will. But ideally, I'm just going to say this game's a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. Gotta be a 10 out of 10. Anything lower than that just seems disrespectful to this game. Damn, this is a good game. But guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I really appreciate you stopping by and checking this out for me. I'll be over on twitch.tv slash mousesauce926. And I'm going to be playing through this game again on the Village of Shadow difficulty, which has been proving to be even more stressful. But damn, it's such a fun game. I don't even care. There's going to be a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. But I hope to see you guys over there. It's your boy, Alpha Mile 926 signing off. Y'all have a great day. Y'all take it easy. I'm out.